materials are good thermal insulators and have a low impact on the environment. I like to remember insulators by, by things that keep heat from transferring. It keeps it in, hence the word in. That's how I like to remember it. So an insulator keeps the heat in. It only allows for the heat to slowly transfer out, all right? Insulators keep the heat in. Thermal conductors are the opposite. Talk to each other about what types of materials we might want. If we're trying to make a little pot, a little pot, you can't have an insulator because that means all the heat is going to go out and then whatever you're trying to make, it's going to be hot. So you can make a little pot, a little pot. All right. Thermal insulators, materials or resources that are going to keep the energy keep the heat energy in and only let it slowly get out of our oven or thermal conductors that are going to allow for that heat transfer to happen quickly. Uh, let's see, Kingston, I haven't heard from you in a while. Which one did you and your group think we want most of in our? Um, thermal, in thermal insulators. Why? Because you want to trap the heat in inside so um, it can heat up faster. Right. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're actually going to take a um, Take some time and look at some of the materials that you're going to have access to. Some material managers will come up and get their bags. You're going to take them out and look at their properties. Do you think that these are good thermal insulators, not good thermal insulators? Talk about it, discuss it, and then put them in order from what you think would do the best job or do the worst job all the way to the best job. Raise your hand if you want to use tin foil. Tin foil. Jabari, do you want to use tin foil? Yes. Okay. Okay. Everybody wants to use tin foil. Good. And, and this, it wouldn't be. I know. I know. But some heat is coming through this. But I don't think this should be a lot. This will go too fast. Hold on. We have someone who disagrees on which it should be. Talk about why. This is more like hard and this is really thin and uh, this could this could hold heat inside of it and then it couldn't get through. Other groups can look and see what is similar or what is different. And if you put things in the same order. Based on what your groups decided, we have materials that are poor thermal insulators keeping that heat in and materials that you felt were excellent thermal insulators. Each group was a little bit different, but this data or your observations or your predictions, we're going to come back to. You made predictions yesterday. Today, we're going to test to see if your predictions were correct. So, this is our ice bath. When we are ready, we are going to use that as our testing mechanism. We have 10 areas and a control. And what we're doing is we're setting up a situation where the air temperature is much warmer than that. And so we want to know, will the temperature of the air in that cup stay warm because it's insulated? So we're going to take a minute. We're going to get ourselves organized over and we're going to make sure that we have everything set up so that we can really trust our data. In a moment, we're going to go set up and bring our materials over to the rug and sit in one big circle around this basin. So every 30 seconds, you're going to write down the out temperature. Every 30 seconds. The zero people get ready to record your out temperature. Record your out temperature now and place it in. Everyone place it in and carefully get back. You have 25 seconds till your next reading. Five more seconds. And read it. In 10 seconds, be ready for your last temperature and to pull it out. In five, last temperature. Four, last temperature. All right, read it and take it out. Read it and take it out and bring it back. You are going to record the change in temperature inside this here. Inside the change symbol. Nine point two. Good. You have the exact same data sheet here. So while we're doing this, I want you to fill out foam, aluminum foil, newspaper, plastic, felt. What is it? Nine. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
Anna, if the air temperature is going down in the cup, what's happening to the heat in the cup? The heat's trying to get It's transferring out to the cold, right? So talking together, you need to rank these by the by the ones that did the best job insulating. Wait, wait, so which one's better, newspaper? Oh, newspaper flat is better than everybody else's on newspaper. Oh my gosh, we never know newspaper was the best one in that. True. Here, yeah. shredded and is a completely oh, different cup. Yeah. A completely yeah. different cup to last votes. You saying the newspaper is really good because you think that it went down one degree. That's what you're saying. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying that it that it went from 23.1 to 23. We have two ways to look at this data. We can look at it by numbers. Our big question is which of these insulated the best? And if they are insulating well, we want it to stay warm. We don't want a big change in temperature. So here, newspaper, both shredded and flat, let out the most heat, correct? Yes. So is that a good thermal insulator? No. no. Looking at this and looking at your data, you need to rank these. Number nine, the second to best. The one that left. Oh, this is a close one. Is it flat? Is it felt shredded? Yeah. Felt yeah. shredded. And the best one that we have, everyone? Oh, right. Now that we know this, <clears throat> what are the environmental impacts of these? And once we have all of that information, you're going to choose what to put in your solar oven to make it cook the fastest. So now we need to just make a decision as a class. It won't be easy, but we need this information. Just like we rank things from poor thermal insulator to good thermal insulator, we need to decide which of these things with negatively impact the environment most and which ones would have the least environmental impact. Yeah, which ones can't you recycle? So you can't recycle felt, felt so felt might be more. Can you recycle foam? No. no. Can you recycle plastic bags? Yes. yes. Some. Some. Can you recycle pit newspaper? Totally. Yes. What about that? Look at that. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I'm sure with plastic. Oh, I guess that was pretty good. Yeah. Arts and crafts. Yeah. Oh, it was a pretty good. Yeah. 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 Y